What is up, guys? This is Sim with Vengeance, and I am back here with another Madden NFL 16 Miami Dolphins franchise. And today, the 4 0 Miami Dolphins are at home taking on the 1 and 4 Cleveland Browns. And if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you guys drop a like and uh, show your support for the channel, support the series. Everything else, guys, we're nearing 7,000 subscribers. You guys have been absolutely amazing. You take a look at the injury report there for the Cleveland Browns. They're missing a, quite a few key players like Dwayne Bow, Reggie Bush. And <laughs> as much as it pains me to say this, uh, today's starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns is none other than Johnny Football, the former Texas A&M quarterback that really has not – made a name for himself in the good way at least uh since being drafted uh, i never really had high hopes on johnny menzel let's be honest i kind of i was kind of that guy who was like hey i was you people were saying oh i'm just hating on him because he's a party animal but it kind of translated over to the nfl he never really you know he was always kind of like that i'm that popular guy at school and i'm gonna be that huge superstar football player one day and he actually got that far and then he ends up flopping in the nfl because he's He's just nothing but an alcoholic, it seems like. But anyway, we're taking him on today here in primetime football. The 1-4 Cleveland Browns on the road against the undefeated 4-0 Miami Dolphins. We'll see you there. Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. A pair of tight ends will be on the field today looking to do whatever it takes to give their team an advantage. It's Cameron's Dolphins going up against Gresham's Browns. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week six matchup. We're under the lights here on Monday night, just moments away from kickoff here on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims getting set for kickoff and a big primetime game headed your way. The lights are on. The excitement's building, Phil. Yeah, the excitement is building, Jim. There's no doubt. The players, they sit around all day long in their hotel rooms waiting for this game to happen. So it just builds up the emotion. The energy just can't wait to get out there. So it should be fun. It's going to be fast, and it's going to be exciting. And Devin Hester will be back deep for the opening kickoff. Lee's set now as we prepare to kick it away. And we are underway here at Sun Life Stadium as Devin Hester is going to take this one from the 9-yard line. Taking this one past the 20, near the 25-yard line. And that's where he's going to be stopped. As the Dolphins are looking for their another 5-0 start here in this franchise. As last year they did start off 5 and 0 and they start ended up 12 and 4. So hopefully we could translate another uh, 5 and 0 start here to a possible Super Bowl victory this year. That's where our hopes are anyway. Last year we came up a game short of going to the Super Bowl, but this year we're looking better. Even though the personnel is a bit different, I do feel like this team is better. Uh, new schemes, everything else. I feel like this team is a lot more polished, and with the chemistry we have going right now. It's kind of hard to stop us. Yes, we haven't been really been tested yet, uh, besides the fact that we almost lost in week one to the Bills, but that's kind of what you kind of expect the first game. You really don't know how it's, things are going to go, trying to feel each other out, stuff like that, yada, yada, yada. But as soon as we got the Jets going and uh, we started playing other like, – we started getting uh, the fluidity of our offense going, it's been kind of hard to stop us. We're putting up a lot of points, and the defense has been playing adequate. Uh, been playing not really lights out by any str the stretch of the imagination, but it has been very good. So we are forcing the ball to be turned. We're forcing turnovers, uh, forcing fourth down situations, forcing a lot of bad throws, a lot of quick throws that are not, aren't necessarily deep downfield. So we'll take short ones uh, downfield, but not we'll, we won't get burned by the big play. Hopefully, that's not what the, we got burned by a couple big plays earlier this year, but. Um, you know, we haven't had many of them. So, we can continue that trend. We'll be good. So, we do end up settling for the field goal here. Ryan suck up from, like, shorter than the extra point away. That one's a chip shot for him. That's good. It's 3 nothing Miami. So, here comes Johnny Football, the former A&M quarterback, who has really kind of made himself into a laughing stock in the NFL. Sure, you could say he's, when he's on the field, he 
he can play to a degree. Uh, I'm not gonna say he's like a winning quarterback because man, he can he can say all he wants how good of a football player he is, but honestly, let's be real here, guys. I'm not sold on Johnny Menzel as a football player. Um, I'm probably gonna say he's at best probably if he if he finished out a, if he played a 16 game season at, at best with the weapons he's got in Cleveland, I say the best he could finish is eight and eight. Because he's he doesn't have he's kind of like a dumbed down version of Cam Newton. Not very accurate. He can run the ball, but he's not as like great as Cam Newton. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry to for all you huge Johnny football fans, but let's uh, I'm just gonna keep keep it in perspective here. I'm just not a fan of him. Let's I'm just gonna be nice about that right there. But uh, enough about that. We're gonna continue on about the game here. The Dolphins are marching down the field once again. Jordan Cameron being uh, targeted quite early and often in this game. Uh, as he's got his fourth catch of the afternoon. This time we're off to Kenny Stills. Gets the first down. And the chains keep moving. So we're going to try and get in the end zone this time. As the Dolphins look to extend their lead to two scores. 10-0 we're looking at. As Vincent Harvey squeezes through the blocks. And he gets in the end zone. Touchdown Miami Dolphins. Vincent Harvey could possibly win Rookie of the Year. If he continues to play like this. And it's hard to see why he cannot win Rookie of the Year. Because he's been playing so dang well. That you just have to throw him in the conversation. You just have to. You might, you might have to consider him you know, the best rookie in the league right now. As you see right there, good defense by DRC. Gets his hand in there, knocks the ball away. Johnny Menzel struggling out of the gate so far. He's one for five for 12 yards, not very good. So here back again to Benson Harvey up the gut. And man, he can run the ball with some conviction. He can run it with some power. And he has shown that so far with 72 yards on the ground so far. He can really move the ball upfield and get about three or four yards every time so off this time to Jordan Cameron he has been targeted once again and look at Ryan Tannehill 12 of 17 for 116 very solid so far and Jordan Cameron's got over 50 receiving yards so far in the game he's been wide open that's all I can say he's been open again open again right there that's his sixth catch of the day if he could get open like this and you know, expose those safeties and linebackers, man, he's going to have a field day in this Browns defense. But right here, instead of going to the middle like we have been, we're going to go to the outside. Look at look at Devontae Parker wide open. Just jukes his defender out of the sh out of his shoes right there. He's facing a, a, I think that's an outside linebacker. He's way too fast for that kind of guy. Why is he even on him? I have no idea. So second down and 10 here. It's 17 to nothing as the Browns look like they're getting completely destroyed here. As Johnny Menzel is scrambling for his life, fumbles the football, and the Dolphins pick it up as that's good defense by Cameron Wake to pick up that fumble. And uh, now we're in position again to score. So very next play, the Dolphins here with 52 seconds left here in the half. Play action. Ryan Tannehill looks left side. Jordan Cameron once again wide open. This time he does get his first touchdown of the game. For as often he's been targeted, you know, you expect him to get a touchdown at least. You at least hope that he get a touchdown. So now it's 24 to nothing. But the Browns, you know, it's they're not going to give up. So Manziel again looking deep downfield. And that one's caught. I'm surprised it wasn't intercepted. DRC had a, a perfect opportunity right there to go up there and get it and steal it from him. But uh, that ain't going to happen as Johnny Manziel gets his first touchdown pass of the game and cuts the lead down to 17. It's 24 to 7 here in the third quarter as Menzel. Going to hand it off this time. Getting a good run uh, this time from his running back. As that is a good pickup right there from uh, Travis West. He picks up about, I think, about 21 yards on the play. So not good defense right there. And uh, we got to do better than that. So it's third down and eight here for the Browns. Here is uh, Johnny Menzel. Play action. Looks. Has time down the field. And this one is going to be <laughs> batted away again. Good defense by the Dolphins. And that is going to be a punt. For the Cleveland Browns. The, Cle the Cleveland Browns, this is what happens when you decide to go with Johnny Menzel against a pretty good defense like mine. Like, stats wise and like attributes wise, the Dolphins have a really good defense in Madden, but obviously, I, I like when you watch them on TV, they're not that good. I mean, uh, we also have a lot of new weapons like DRC, Dominic, like, and we have a few good safeties on this team. So, this, this team, like, attribute wise, is really good. And Johnny Menzel is not that good. So, sorry, Browns. You're kind of SOL on that one. So, again, 
This time, this one is caught by, I think that is Sims on, the, not, that's not Sims, that's Jay Ajay underneath. And he gets the first down. And we're nearing another touchdown right here. So we could possibly make this 31-7 here with this sweep play. Sweep right, and that's nothing but daylight for Vincent Harvey. Touchdown, Miami Dolphins. It's now 31-7. This game is getting ugly, folks. As you kind of expected it, the, the Browns, you know, they're kind of a crappy team, uh, like literally. And, like, you know, they haven't been showing up today. The Dolphins, who are one of the best in the AFC, uh, continue to prove why they are one of the best in the AFC. And now that's why they're up 31-7 to because they continue to get after the ball. And they, they're, they're like, we want it more. That's basically what they're saying. They're like, they, we want it more. And, hey, hey, with, with the way things are going... You know, I'm not saying we're going to run the table or anything like that. That's That would be ridiculous. With the tough schedule we have later on in the second half of the season, it would be almost impossible for me to run the table and go 16-0. But, man, if we could get home field advantage in the playoffs, that would be nice. So, here is on second and 13, Menzel looking to the right side. It's caught, and he gets the first down right there. He's starting to pick up his game a little bit, but it is kind of like garbage time. If you really want to consider this garbage time, um, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you, but, I mean, it is 31-7. to We're nearing the fourth quarter. This game is, I wouldn't say over, but it's looking that way. So, yeah, it's semi-garbage It's semi -garbage time. I'll call it that. So, here it goes. Fourth quarter just beginning at the 17-yard line for the Browns. Second down and 14 underneath. This time, they get the, uh, can they get the touchdown? No. Uh, but Manziel is now 9 of 16 for 159. He's really kind of picked it up after that slow start. But it might be just a little too late as, you know, when you face a good team and struggle, you're going to pay the price. So second down and goal. Menzel looking left. Touchdown, Cleveland Browns. And it's now 31-13 as Mercedes Lewis gets that one in the end zone. And now they're going to try and go for two to make it a 16-point game. So can they get the two-point conversion? Menzel in the shotgun. He's looking. Trying to get that two-point conversion. They get his wide receiver in motion. Looks. Tries to takes his time. And he gets this one off again. And... That's the two-point conversion. It is now 31-15. So, it, hey, good for you, Browns. Good for you. Third down and seven here. 5.57 left. Here is uh, Tannehill looking underneath, and he's going to give it off to a uh, Vincent Harvey. Gets the first down, and he gets it near the 45-yard line. First down, Miami Dolphins. As Tannehill passes 200 yards uh, passing on the day. Two touchdowns, one INT. So, here is Tannehill again taken down for the sack. Not much protection going on there as Mingo goes in there and does his little dingo and gets the sack. Does his little Mingo, Lingo, Singo, I don't know. I'm making up stuff at this point. So here's Manziel looking right side, caught again. Manziel has been on fire here in the second half. We cannot stop him as the Dolphins' pass defense is not looking like it's... It, it looked like they left their defense in the locker room at halftime. I don't know. So here at the 46-yard line, first and 10 here for the Browns. Menzel once again steps back looking underneath quick throw and this one's off to West and he gets the first down and at the 43 yard line he's getting uh, another first down wait, wait, wait come on defense where you at where you at defense we don't want them to come back these are the Cleveland Browns we're talking about these are the Cleveland Browns Menzel again looks has time protection oh and this one's almost intercepted but these the uh, yeah he's gone yeah, there's no catching him. That's Cecil Shorts, the third, on that catch. And now it's 31 to 21. As now they're going to go for two again to try and make this a one-score game with a touchdown and two-point conversion lead. And they get it again. And that's Lewis in for the two-point conversion, making it 31-23. But can the Dolphins try and put this one on ice? They need a touchdown to do it. And uh, they're not going to get it on that play. Nope. Just a yard, a hair short of the first down. But we're going to go for it on fourth and two. You call me crazy, but I saw something in the defense, and I exposed it. Here is Jordan Cameron proving once again why he should be player of the game. Look at this reception. He just breaks a tackle. It takes it for another 10 or 15 yards after contact. That's an incredible play by uh, Jordan Cameron right there. That's just uh, – that one pretty much sealed it right there. I think that was the play of the game right there. So here's uh, Tannehill looking. Right side caught again. Touchdown Miami Dolphins. That's Jarvis Landry with the catch. And that one seals the deal. As the Dolphins are 5-0 once again. As they come out with a 38-23 victory over the Cleveland Browns. And hopefully, you know, the competition can get a little bit tougher 
for us. We haven't had much so far. And, well, outside of week one, we really haven't had much competition. And uh, we had a blowout victory against the Broncos, a blowout victory against the Colts, now a blowout, a semi-blowout victory against the Cleveland Browns. And uh, ever since week one, we've been on fire. The offense has been on firing at all cylinders. We've been looking great. And the defense has been looking pretty good as well. So hopefully we can keep it up against like the bigger opponents like the Patriots, the Steelers, and uh, the Ravens as well. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We're nearing 7,000 subscribers. Why not become one of them today? Become part of the family. And uh, until next time, my name is Simith Ventures. You guys have been amazing as always. And I am out. Peace.